apologize for any noise that might be happening in the background because apparently the, some people must be working out of their homes because I don't think we hire landscaping services on the weekends and it's coming from both sides of the <laughs> can't even. Anyway, I just want to capture this one moment in here. Like I'm not going to do a whole commentary on this, but I, I, I just love how this narrator just breaks character every once in a while them about the complaints against Nasser. However, it would be less than a month before another disturbing issue would be brought to light about USA Gymnastics, one that they had tried for years to hide. At the same time USA Gymnastics was informing the Indianapolis FBI office about the complaints about Larry, they were hit with another unrelated sex scandal. Marvin Sharp had been a gymnastics coach who had trained two members of the 2008 USA Women's Olympic Team and won the title of best coach in the nation in 2010. He was well respected in his community as a coach and mentor, but he had a reputation for being kind of a creep. Boys and girls who had been passionate about gymnastics would leave his studio often, seemingly for no reason, stating that they no longer wanted to pursue gymnastics at all. Unlike John Getter, who was verbally and physically abusive, Marvin was a bit too touchy towards his students. When a girl would get hurt at his gym, he would take special care to look after them. Having to strip her completely naked, oh my god, this is so fucking ridiculous, having to strip her completely naked so he could rub ice on her body, he would personally and privately take the girls' measurements for their leotards alone in his office. Office, one by one with the door locked and he enjoyed taking photos of the gymnasts in his own personal photo studio that was inside the gym he had a bevy of costumes leotards and little outfits for them to wear and often his gymnasts would come for photo shoots by themselves where he would dress them up and pose them in different ways when his home was eventually okay i just wanted to capture that one break of character because he does it he's he i've watched three videos now on this particular channel, threading, right? And I love when he breaks character because it's so funny. Like when he was uh, doing the, the the couple that malnourished their children to the point where their 10 month old died, when he was listening to the excuses in the interrogation video of, of, um, of the father of that situation, uh, he just broke in and said, shut the fuck up, <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. And um, another one was earlier in this video. He um, just says, he just like breaks out and says, they fucking lied to her. <laughs> this is a good channel. The videos are a bit too long. He also doesn't um, clip out like the redacted portions or speed them up or do something. That's why these videos are so long. Look at this. This is a four hour long video. Um there's too long because he's not clipping out the dead air but um but other than that he's a hilarious narrator